I'm going to show you how you can take the math websites that you're probably already using and loving in your classroom and actually bring them into quizzes to make them even better. And so there's actually two main ways you can do this. So let me show you the first. So this is a quizzes lesson that you're looking at. And so one easy option is to literally just like put the link into a quizzes lesson. So what that means is that like as you're delivering your lesson and you know, normally talking about whatever concept you're talking about, it's so easy because then like poof, it just pops up right there on the slide and the student doesn't have to go anywhere else. And it's a completely embedded and look, so you take like your website, let's say Desmos, like Pythagorean theorem, and it's still the exact same experience for the student, only it's like built right into the quizzes. Um, and we have GeoGebra too. And you, and you can take most websites and just pop them in there. In a second, I'll show you how to do it. But the point is that like, it's just so nice because then like the student can just like do it right there on the website. And then you as a teacher can be like, all right, next slide. And the whole, and then it kind of goes away and you move on to a lesson. So it's so easy to like keep them engaged, keep them in one spot and keep them with the pace of the class using the websites you're already using. And the second option is probably my favorite. And so this is actually not putting it into a lesson. It would look something like this, where actually, hold on, let me use this one. So this is a example for more elementary math, like digital manipulatives. So same idea, you can put the website and it's completely as interactive as normal, but instead of having it like just kind of like right there and there's not really anything to do with it maybe, or kids are answering questions on like a Google doc or a worksheet, you might as well just put questions right next to it in quizzes because then you get immediate feedback and all the other benefits of quizzes. So like you as a teacher know that when they're exploring this website, like you actually know that they're understanding the concept and you get immediate feedback both individually and as a whole class. And so this is using it in a passage. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to make them both in the lessons and the passage. So there's a couple of different ways, but I'm gonna show you probably the easiest. So let's just say you wanna do a lesson in quizzes and you haven't ever made one before. First thing is use our library of like millions of different things. So I just searched Pythagorean theorem and then I popped in lessons. So let's just say this one here, that is a verified content. You wanna use this one. Cool, right? So here's what I would do. I would then hit edit, right? Copy and edit. So like bring the lesson in and watch how easy this is. All you need to do is go to whatever website you're using, grab the link and let's go back to this lesson that I'm working on. Let's say, okay, this is a perfect spot right here to have them explore. Watch, add a new slide and then just choose webpage link and watch, this is like just so easy. Just paste. And then ta-da, like literally like that, you can just have this website embedded into your lesson. And then the second way, again, my favorite way is to pop it into a passage with the questions next to it. So watch how easy this is. So again, I'm gonna create from scratch here. Just go to create passage. And then you see right here, it says embed website, embed website, and watch. And then just pop it in. Paste the same link that I just, you know, pasted Desmos and then add questions and whatever you want the students to understand. And you can you see you get all the different access to all the different question types. And then you'd make it, publish it, send it out. And you have all the websites that you already love right into quizzes with automatic grading and instant feedback.